Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Escape211 here, and uh, we are on the test server. I'm using the new mech Eclipse. I'll put my build up. This is a two star setup, uh, just because I don't know when this mech is going to be offered in terms of like in the store or what it's going to be for, um, you know, in terms of the. Uh, uh, crate rush or playoff or whatever they do for when they first offer it but I figured a two-star version would be a safe option if it's a bought item uh, because there usually are cheap ways to buy it for uh, this kind of a, a cost um, so uh, I kind of have it set up that way right now um, so uh, I, I did it with shotguns as I think that one's pretty viable for this kind of a setup and uh, you know I, I actually thought it performed well for where I was uh, against the bots and all that kind of stuff um, and uh, you know it I mean it's not super damaging at this point because shotgun fours are not super high obviously but for comparable bots it did quite well and because you can play a little more aggressively with his ability it's very nice now as you guys may or may not remember from the devlog this functions a lot like shadow in terms of you know having the ability to stealth and the time and duration of it as well as its cooldown but it also has the ability to know nullify debuffs so any type of debuff that you would be hit by on the enemy does not seem to affect you at all now i haven't done extensive testing but i'm assuming that means everything so like a thermal lance a stasis beam grab beams all that stuff potentially wouldn't work i have had instances where people have tried to freeze me or use um the redox ability on me and it has not worked so it's been very effective and allows you to just get up in close especially with weapons like this it's very nice for that um so it has a lot of great counterplay against the typical stuff you would find anywhere in the meta so that's been really nice so you can play aggressively with shotguns as you know you would want to do right with shotguns it makes a lot of sense uh and you can do it quite effectively so i was happy with the process here um so yeah doing doing all right here and there's a slingshot those are those are actually fun to take down with this is early game not so bad um i don't like fighting the juggernauts early game Bit of a pain just because they take long to take down, uh, or longer, I guess, with the shotguns. Oh, Pumas are nice, squishy targets. And then the MDs are also nice to take out. Oh, man, I just had no ammo for that guy. I really wanted to get him. <laughs> we'll get this guy instead, the Puma. Boom. Yeah. Man, those Pumas are squishy. I love taking them out. It's a lot of fun. Ooh, he went right by me. Unless he was going for that guy. Maybe he was going for him. Oh, yes, heal me. Thank you. I will take that. I do think his frame is pretty large. Um, you know, even though his feet and his body look small, he kind of like has those wing things that kind of come out the back. Oh, nice. Got them both. Um, so he feels almost like in size and even almost speed to like stalker. I know his speed is actually pretty fast. It's 28. So it actually is pretty darn high. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it doesn't feel as fast as 28 to me. I don't know. I don't know if that's just me. All right, I'll pull back. <clears throat> Leave me alone. I'm going to come get you now. You only had thermal lances. I can take you on. For sure. There we go. Boom. Yeah. Quite happy with that. Uh, worked out really well at this stage. Even a two star. But uh, we'll try it a little more with some some different loadouts and higher star ratings. Just to get a feel for it generally like in each case. All right. All right. Here we go. This is a three-star setup I'm going to do with Eclipse on this one. Uh, I'll put this up, too. Now, this is with the nade launchers, all right? I haven't used the nade launchers much, but the reason I did it is because he actually has achievements around the nade launcher. And when you're at six, you know, at this uh, three-star where it's like dual sixes, there aren't the greatest of options. I could have done arc torrents, but I'll probably do those later on with higher energy builds just because that'll be more common. So I thought this might be an area to try something a little more interesting as well as, you know, work on some achievements. This guy has um, barrage and uh, close range stuff as his weapon based achievements. So I thought this would be fitting, even though I totally was not hitting anything there. Oop. We should be able to hit that guy. Yeah, I mean, it's done. It's doing decent damage. And the fact that it's hard for them to target me can make this pretty decent at even playing a little more aggressively on your positioning to make sure your shots land so there's not as much air time. Although I'm not landing those there. All right, I land some of those. I don't know if it was landing on him or on the buddy next to him, but either way, well, we did get that guy. So it's not it's not too bad. I mean, I've, I've never been one that has been a big fan of the nade launchers because, yeah, look at that. Even those... I'm not really landing my shots. It feels kind of like 
you know, at least with this, I would play keep away similar to jabs, but it's just harder to hit your targets. Or at least it seems like it to me. You kind of have to base it around targets that are going to have to be in uh, positions where they got to... Well, that was weird. A little glitchy there. Um, where they got to uh, stay in a position like they're capturing a beacon or something like that. I think that it's going to be good for that kind of positional stuff or, uh, you know, going against people in their ideal positions for, like, sniping or something. But for general play, yeah, I, I still struggle with this weapon. I... I think, um, you know, it could use some some helps and rework. I don't really have great implants on it right now. I mean, they're decent, but it's not like anything super amazing. Oh, gosh. Ooh, don't get me. He's got shotguns. That's not good for me. Okay. He's going to try to capture that, which is good. Now, this is kind of the instance I'm talking about, right? Where they're, they're you know, someone is trying to stay in a specific position, and nade launchers can really force people to move out of those positions. Or this guy he might be able to get some good shots on on because he's trying to capture the center. Right? So, yeah, we're getting some good hits on them there. There we go. All right. So, like, there's there's potential for it, for sure. Um, but it has a specific function. I can see in a lot of game modes, it might not be, you know, really what you want to focus on. Um, but I appreciate that it's a flexible weapon in that, you know, even when somebody gets this close to me, I'm not stuck with, like, an artillery weapon that can't get them too close to me. Um, and I can fire a lot. It just feels like you can get a lot of shots off. So... I don't know. I, I still think this is an interesting weapon I want to play with more, uh, but it's still, you know, not exactly ideal. But with the context of Eclipse here early on, I can see where it would be an interesting use if you happen to have, like, the 6 or... Uh, I don't know even if I remember what ones they have for this. The 6, the 10, the 12, and the 16, I think? I don't know. Maybe there's an 8, too. I can't remember because I don't really use these too much. But uh, there's, there's a few of them, uh, you know, out there. And I think they, they came out with a couple more recently. So... Um, not bad, not bad. Uh, and it's certainly working in this case, right here, on CPC. I think this is the best application for it, honestly. Although this is also against bots, you gotta remember that, right? So, if the best application for it is against bots, that's not great. We got a guy coming back into our home. Get out of here, punk. Ah, uh, now he's got other dudes spawning. Oh, we got that one, good. Can we get this guy? Maybe? Come on, guy. There we go. Nice. We got him. And there we go. That was all of them. I wasn't sure. But that worked pretty well. I wasn't... I, you know, that wasn't too bad. We can work with that. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's try some more. All righty. Let's do the natural star rating of this guy. We're going to bump it up to five. Um, I'm going to do some arc torrents on this one. I actually got the new pilot on there as well, but I mean, it's going to function the same as mina. So not really a whole lot different there. Uh, just, you know, nice to have another close up pilot. Uh, although in the, the current, you know, setup, you really only have the arc torrents as a setup for a close range pilot. Uh, I think, you know, we'll eventually have some more. Maybe we'll get some more frag guns and some other stuff. But right now, that's probably, like, all we got realistically. Oh, did you guys see that? I think that was an Orion who just tried to use that mark on me. Uh, and it did nothing to me because I'm using my ability. So, I, again, that's the idea of how this works. Oh, that is a Guardian. He didn't use his ability on me. Part of me wants to see if Guardian's ability goes through. I would think it does. But I haven't tried it yet. Let's sneak up on this guy. Or, or both guys. There's two of them here. Oh, yeah. Boom. He had the, uh, what do you want to call those? The, uh, the EM rifles. Not today, my friend. Not today. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, he's, he's pretty good. I've been happy with this mech and this setup and everything. Um, the arcs, obviously, are going to be solid. Uh, they're not the, I don't, I don't know if they're the best right now. I think, uh, you might want to do, like, grab beams instead of arcs. But because, you know, his uh, his setup is close range and we got the new pilot. Oh, was that? Oh, that was a surge. That probably... Oh, well, that one definitely would have hit me uh, if I didn't have my ability up. So, boom, there we go again. An instance where my life is saved from the ability. Gosh, this guy is going to be insanely powerful. One thing I didn't talk about either is his stats overall. Um, it is... He has the HP class because he's legendary of surge. So, he's got a lot of health. Um, not an insane amount, but a lot for a scout class mech, for sure. Oh, boom, got them both. Uh, and um, he's got the just under the speed of the fastest mechs. The fastest is 29, he has 28. Um, and his like time duration of his ability is the same as Shadow. So if you got a legendary duration, 
and then a legendary cooldown, you'd be up for 15 seconds and only down for five. And with his ability, that would be insane, guys. Crazy good. All right, so that's it. All I'm going to show today. I was going to do it fully maxed out, but I've been having an issue on the test server where when I try to max it out, I'll do it right now. It tells me that I don't have the resources for it, and then it just won't go to full. But you guys get an idea of how that works overall. I mean, it, I, I think it's... Uh, you know, understandable how he functions. But you guys can let me know what you think. I think he's going to be super powerful, very meta-worthy, Shadow 2.0. But you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments, what you think of him, and we will see you out there on the battlefield.